Today we're going to be talking about the letter C. And the letter C is the start of one of my favorite animals. Can you guess what animal I'm thinking of? I think I know what Ella's favorite animal is. Is it a cat? It is. <gasps> it's a cat. So we are going to pretend we're cats and we're going to take our three fingers like this, three on each hand, and we're going to do this like whiskers. And when we do it, we're going to make the C sound. And the C sound sounds like this. K -k -k. Can you try it? Ready? All right, now let's work on making the letter C. If you don't already have your Play-Doh mat, go ahead and get it and trace along with us. The fun and easy thing about learning the letter C is both letters, upper and lower, are exactly the same. So if you can make one, you can make both. So we're gonna say the same rhyme for both, but one we're gonna make bigger and one we're gonna make smaller. So let's start with uppercase. It starts like this. Cars go down and around the track. Stop before you get right back. Can you say it with us? Ready? Cars, Cars go, go down, down and around the track. Stop before you get right back. Great job. And did you see how we said stop before we get right back? It's kind of like a circle, but we just don't connect it. Let's say that same poem again for the lowercase letter C. Cars go down and around the track. Stop before you get right back. Now it's our favorite time of the day. It's Alpha Surprise time. Go ahead and get your Alpha Surprise jar of Play-Doh out and have the best time exploring your mini objects. I cannot wait to see what letter we have. It's a C. Remember, C says k, k. Can you make that sound and trace the C with your finger? C says k, k. I always love C's because C's look almost like a circle. They're just missing one little piece right here. See how this could be a circle, but it stops right there? There's our C. I'm going to set that right there and we are going to get started. Let's see what's in our jar. Now you've already done this, so you know what's inside of your jar. So I'm going to give you clues and I want you to guess what's inside. Let's see. Lots of digging today. These objects are hidden very, very well. Oh, I see an animal that has four legs and has a big hump on its back. Tall, long legs. Do you know what that is? It's a k, k. Camel. Oh, this one has two humps. See the two humps on its back? There's our camel. Set the camel right there. Okay, let's see what else is inside here. Ooh, this one looks tasty. This is a dessert. Sometimes you get it for birthdays. Sometimes you get it just for special occasions. They're very fun to make. They're like mini pieces of cake. What are they called? What is that? A Cake. That looks like a chocolate cupcake with sprinkles. Oh, it looks delicious. I see little yellow and blue and green sprinkles. Okay, let's see what else we have. Hmm. Ooh, another sweet treat. This one could be any kind of treat. It's something you get on Halloween when you go door to door and say trick or treat and they give this out. Um, it's also something that you might like, but you have to make sure you're careful and brush your teeth after because it has lots of sugar. What's it called? K -k candy. There's our candy. 
what else do we have? Let's clear this off. Oh, another sweet treat. How many sweet treats are in the sea jar? So we have cupcake. We have candy. There's another one that starts with k, k. What is it? Oh, it's a piece of cake. Yummy. That looks like a chocolate cake too. That looks so good. Looks like it has some frosting and even whipped cream and a cherry. So we have cupcake, we have candy, we have cake, we have camel. Let's see what else. This looks like it is blue. It's a blue letter C. Now I want you to look at this C and I want you to look at this C. Do they look the same? They're exactly the same but one is big and one is small. So here's your uppercase or capital C, and here's your lowercase c. Do you see how they're exactly the same? C's, those are so cute. C -c cute. All right, what else? This is meow. <gasps> What's that sound? There's something meowing in the jar. <gasps> what could it be? What says meow and starts with C? Anybody know? Yell it out if you know it. <gasps> That's right. It's a k -k cat. Look at that. I think that's all of our objects. Let's think about this. We always have five objects. So let's count, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Do we have five objects? We sure do. Let's clap out the syllables, ready? We have cupcake. Let's clap, cupcake. Cupcake has two syllables. What about candy? Candy. Candy has two syllables, just like cupcake. What about cake? Cake has one syllable. What about cat? Cat has one syllable. And then we have camel. Ready? Camel. So we have camel, we have candy, and we have cupcake, and they all have two syllables. Then we have cake, and we have cat, and they both have one syllable. Wow, that was so fun. These are great objects. They're making me hungry. Should I go get a sweet treat? Maybe cake or a cupcake or a piece of candy? Mmm, sounds delicious. You should be so proud of yourself for how hard you've worked today. We're so excited to say our favorite goodbye poem. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. In an hour, sunflower. Maybe two, kangaroo. Got to go, buffalo. Better swish, jellyfish. Chop, chop, lollipop. Gotta run, skeleton. Bye, bye, butterfly. Better shake, rattlesnake. Give a hug, ladybug. Take care, polar bear. Our, our time, time together now ends. Goodbye, good friends.